power one. Fuck. Greetings, everybody. Hackers, the number one. The good, 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 good. Welcome back to the channel. All right, guys. Now, welcome back to another chair review. Okay, guys. So, just recently, you guys have probably saw my one year review of the Secret Lab Titan, the Batman edition that I'm sitting in right now. So, I have had this chair for over a year. Now, for a while, I've been contemplating on getting a certain chair. And the reason why I've been contemplating on it is mainly because of the price range of it. If you guys seen the title, I'm talking about the Herman Miller embody gaming chair this from herman miller and logitech greetings everybody this is editor griff here hey guys griffin left out some important information here in the intro honest mistake but yes so griffin managed to find actually a promo code that gives you an extra five percent off on herman miller's website right now they have a big deal for a lot of their products you know like 20 percent off 25 percent off so for this particular chair here the embody gaming chair is 25 percent off however griffin found a code and a promo code that gives you an extra five percent now griffin missed out on this okay so he wants to help you guys out here. He missed out on this, so he only got the 25%, and he snagged the chair when he could. For an extra 5% off, stay to the end of the video so Griffin can tell you about the promo code that you guys can type in right now until December 14th from what he knows on how long this code is going to last to get you an extra 5% off. I say, personally, this is the best time to snag this chair if you are genuinely curious. I will tell you right now in the beginning of this video, it costs Griffin about 1400 for this particular chair. With the 5% off, it gives you an extra 1300 so about 60 something dollars that you guys can save and for a regular consumer like us that's a big win okay so griffin missed out on it hopefully you guys don't miss out on it either by just watching the video and watching it to the end okay but anyway guys thank you guys very much for watching let's get back to the video now obviously i love logitech because i have a lot of their i have their products here they're really good but i've always wanted to try this show. i've always heard good things about it you know streamers youtubers and everything now i have yet to see a video from an actual consumer someone like if you guys look right here my sub count is not really high so of course Herman Miller is not gonna mess with someone like me you know what I'm saying so a lot of these youtubers no offense to any of them a lot of them will say things because they're trying to sell a product I get it it's a business I 100% understand this is a guy who literally works from home literally right there and I'm, I'm using making videos for fun trying to grow here on YouTube so I really have no if ands or buts about it so what you're about to see is my very first time sitting in this chair ever i have been wanting this chair i literally bought it with my own money i've done a lot of overtime just to see about getting this chair this is my christmas present to me and i'm gonna give you my honest opinion of this chair okay i don't know if you guys are ready now but griff gang one two three chick, chick. all right guys as you guys can see here this is me trying to bring in the box in my office now guys this box is really really huge as the chair already comes assembled in or basically upon delivery so you don't have to worry about those hours of assembling this this is literally me trying every trying to get nook and cranny into <laughs> this room in this office like <laughs> it, it obviously did not work out so yeah yeah griffin i know man all right guys hey, hey nico how's my beautiful boy yeah guys that's my siberian house give me a nosy but anyway guys you guys can see here the box has here you're almost there mere seconds in between you and science back economics no assembly required sit down enjoy the game etc etc all right uh, this thing is open up like a Blue's Clues envelope. Like this box is open like a door. This is so freaking fantastic. And right there it says pull this down. No need to. It goes right down just like that. And there's literally the chair right there wrapped. Now the thing on the left, I really thought it was a block and I, it needed to be added something else. No, this is how they really was protecting this chair for packaging, guys. Like the delivery driver had to actually use a dolly to get this box in here. Like it wasn't a light, it wasn't a light box. So. Um, this is me just taking it out for you guys. This is the unboxing experience that I had. Um, I'm not going to unwrap this chair just yet. And then right there, we'll see Griffin there. He'll pan out right to where the chair is right there. So now, guys, let's go ahead and get ready to unbox this baby. What do you think will come of that? Oh, no. I don't like the look of it. Griff King. So as you guys can see, this is the Herman Miller and Body Gaming Chair. I'm literally standing here on the right side of the camera, talking into the mic so I can have at least better audio for this video because one of my other videos for the chairs, audio was kind of weird, you know, recording from my phone. So guys, this is not a professional type video that you see all these other YouTubers make. This is <laughs> literally the best I can do. Uh, in the back, as you can see, that's my setup for working from home. So this is coming from a guy who legit works from home. So. But yeah, guys, so this is going to be my actual first time sitting in this chair. 
um, I never sat in it um, looking at it it's it's weird seeing it in person because you would think it's actually I'm not gonna say bigger but you guys kind of get the picture like it i'm five foot seven 185 pounds so um i hear this is a good height for me but anyway enough talking i'm actually gonna sit down for it for the first time so let's try this out okay all right, hope you guys can actually see me clear in the camera. No BS, guys. Like I said, this is coming from a real consumer and everything like that. This is someone who legit spent the money on this chair and worked for it. The first thing I'll say is this. The armrests, I can tell throughout some time, throughout, uh, throughout time of me gaming and doing my thing and working from home and everything, I can tell these are probably gonna be a little bit uncomfortable as time goes on. Right now, it's fine. Right now it's fine. I'm, and I think I've seen other videos where this says the armrest is kind of iffy. So the first thing I'll say about the armrest, something that I did actually know. So you guys know when you guys look at the videos, you'll see some YouTubers do this. They'll do that, right? And they'll say clunky. A lot of them are not mentioning this. And this is someone from who's never sat in this chair. If you pull these up and like lift it up. Y'all hear that? Barely any sound. All you got to do is just pull them up and it does this on its own. Well, it, it doesn't do it on its own, but you guys get the picture. It's not clunky. It move, it glides. It glides. Now, if I stop pulling it up, this is what happens. So if you guys are ever worried about the armrest being a little clunky or anything like that, that's what you do. Allow me to say that. And this is coming from someone who's never owned the chair, and I knew this. Okay, and that's because I read the comment. I was looking up a lot of research about this. I don't know why a lot of YouTubers, professional YouTubers and content creators are not getting, I don't know if anyone's mentioned it, but a lot of them keep saying it's clunky. It's clunky because you're not doing it right, my friend. Just lift it up and and move it, okay? All right, I'm just saying that. I was like, mind you, that's my first time ever trying to test that out. Uh, I did it a little bit off camera, just like moving it and like, yeah. All right, so now that's the armrest for you. Um, and right here, there's, there's these latches right here and you just pull it up like that. So I actually like this feature, how it actually like, it comes in a little bit. Pull these down and it comes in. I can see myself you know, doing, doing what I gotta do and lifting it up. It seems like it's a perfect height from, from my desk. I'm definitely gonna have to try this baby out. I will say coming from a secret labs, the whole little feature of like, you know, turning it, I've never actually had a reason to use it. Not gonna lie, when I play using control or anything like that, I kind of turn it so my elbows can just naturally just rest like this, you know, when I play controller. Keyboard and mouse, cool, no problem. But when I have a controller, I usually like being using my own body as like a little leverage and everything like that. I never had to really use the chair. Cause if I use a chair, I'm not gaming like, like that or anything you, you know, like or like this i'm not using the armrest to game no so this being low enough for me like i said i'm five foot seven it, it works now they're out of sight out of mind you know what i'm saying I, I actually really do like that um so the next thing i want to go over is the latch on the side of the chair so right here honestly guys i actually should have lowered this as much as i could in that last scene there that you guys saw because i was playing it back and i saw that i was a little too high um, not type high, but you guys know. So um, right now this is, um, I think it's lowered. I want I think it is, I think I lowered it before I hit record. I'm not 100% sure. So you see this blue latch here, uh, right here. Um, if you move this up, push this up right here, the chair will go up. But as you guys can see, I just made a fail. So let me correct this. So the latch right here, if you just move this up, it'll go down. How you doing guys? I don't know if you guys see me. And if you move this baby up, if you stand up, just like any normal, any normal office chair, that's how you move it up. This nice little ledge, I, I really do like it. It's not like out in the open, everything out of sight, out of mind. You know, it's pretty cool. I funks with it really heavy. Now, the next thing I didn't try, you guys are actually gonna see, is these right here. Now, these are just the normal. Uh, now, this is literally out of the box, right? I have not touched these at all. Uh, so, this is actually my first time actually trying these out, okay? I think you, you push this up. Okay, yeah, you do push it up, okay. So, you push it up here. Okay, oh, okay, now I see, now I see. Okay, so I actually mess with this and then you, you push it back. Oh, okay, 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 so I see how it is now. So you lift it up and then move it forward and then you keep it lift up to move it back. Okay, I thought I was really just, I was just doing this, I was just lifting it forward, but you can actually, you have to actually lift it up and move it back. Okay, and then push it forward. You can, you can just push it forward like that, but be safe because you hear those clunks. I was just, you know, lift it up and just do it like that. So being five foot seven, let me actually lower this a little bit. There we go. Me being five foot seven, feet touching the ground, everything. Lifting it up and pushing this out is more comfortable for me, at least, having it all the way out. Now, it's not 
hugging my knee, as you guys can see. It's not hugging it. All right, guys, I just went up to check the camera, make sure you guys can see it. It seems like you guys can a little bit. So it's not hugging my knee. And this is me just sitting straight 90 degree angle on here. Um, this is forward all the way out. And then moving it back all the way. I have a lot of real estate for here. So if I want to like sit like this or anything, you know, bob my little feet, you know, you know, I'm even five foot seven, but I got 13 size feet. I got big feet. The Lord didn't freak, gave me big feet, but he said, F, he said F the height, but that's okay. So, uh, but yeah, so sitting the regular degree push this up here and it, and it goes good for me. So this is a good, this is a good position for me. Um, at least for me on this one, I really do like it. So this feature is really nice uh, when it comes to that. So it doesn't hug, hug me too much. And with that, guys, I want to show you guys that, how, that you can actually sit crisscross applesauce in this chair with that little feature there, too. Like when the armrests all the way down, you sit like that and you pull them babies up and just look at that. Yep, you can easily sit crisscross applesauce in the chair. And right there, that's me editing. Just so I can show you guys that even with my desk and everything, I was able to get some editing done. Even while sitting crisscross applesauce, it's actually pretty legit. I actually was really comfortable during this. Also, guys, there is no headrest for this chair. And coming from a secret labs, honestly, this is is not really a big issue um i usually sit back like that with my hands like that uh, sometimes i even slouch just like that so that's really actually not an issue for me but i do know there is a actually a headrest coming out from a third party company called atlas so keep your eyes out for that guys if you do own this chair or anything like that if you need that headrest all right guys so the next thing we're gonna go over is uh this basically helps the lumbar on this thing that i noticed too so there's this little knob right here right so i have it all the way back so this is as loose as it's going to go okay so you see like these little lobs right here, okay? These these bottom knobs and this right here is basically for like the lumbar area of your back, right? So right now, this is as loose as it's gonna go, okay? But when I tighten it forward, I mean, hopefully you can pick up the chair moving, okay? You guys see that a little bit? You, Cause I'm trying to go as fast so you guys can see the difference. So right now, the bottom part is loosening up here, but the top part here, that's that is tightening up this big, this part of the back right here. And it's gonna keep on going and now it's stopped. So right now, in this area right here of the back is tight and down here it's a little loose. But when you move it back, right? You guys see the chair moving back a little bit? Now the now this piece right here for the lumbar is now going back and it's loosening up for you. So you have free range of motion on just how loose you want when it comes to sitting back in this particular chair. So you guys see right here how I can freely wiggle this right now when I move it forward. I move it forward all the way so you guys can see. Now it's not as easy to move back. So it's not as loose as it was before. So you have free reign on just how much you want to do that. I think I just repeated the lines there. Hey guys, one take on this stuff. This is, a, this, is a, this is some real ish, bro. Okay, I'm not, like I said, I'm not a professional. I'm just going as it is. But yeah, so you have this part right, you have that part right there. And in the back, you have this rubber layer. Like it literally, like when they say it conforms to your back, I'm not gonna lie guys, it really does, okay? It really does conforms to your back. So whatever movement you do, this is going to support you here. So let me see if I can get a good angle of me sitting down. Okay guys, hopefully I got a good angle on where you can see of me uh, leaning back on this chair. Now I'm leaning uh, as far back as it's gonna go, okay? So when I move like this and I move back, the top part will lean back a little bit, okay? I'm gonna show you guys the, uh, the lean back uh, feature in a, in a little bit as well. But the feature that it's at right now is at the stiffest it can be when it comes to, to the lean back portion, so I can't lean back all the way. When you lean back and like you turn, just like I'm doing right here, you turn, the top part of it moves with you. You get what I'm saying? Like it, 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 it moves with you. It conforms to your movement and where you're going. So that is legit. I actually do like that a lot. Like it, it, feels, it feels really good feels really good okay i was like okay and also i want to point out guys i don't know what kind of chair some of these other people have um but the squeak that people will say when you move i'm pretty sure maybe maybe my sh i don't know if my share mic is picking it up but you're not really it's i'm being honest with you guys it's very minimal okay it's very minimal now i'm being dramatic with it as you guys can see yeah, guys, it's very minimal. It's like, I don't know, maybe the, <laughs> the, the like the mics or anything it was like super close to the chair, but the noise that it's making is very minimal. And if you're a regular consumer like I am, and you're just checking out this chair again, I don't know what chair you probably had or anything like that, no offense. The noise is there, but guys, it's really, really minimal. If you're a gaming or anything like that, you're, I'm gonna tell you right now, you're probably not even gonna, gonna notice it. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Um, at least for me, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna notice it. All right, guys, I'm probably, you're probably gonna pick me up in my phone audio as my mic is way over there, but I want to show you guys the latch for, to lean this baby back. So this is the latch right here. 
This is at the first level. This is level one. If you hopefully you heard that quick, that click, that's two, three, four. And that's it. So you have four levels. One, two, three, four. And each level is how far you can lean back in this chair. And I'm gonna demonstrate them for you right now. I right, hope you guys are getting this. I made sure I put, I angled the, the chair so you guys can actually see far back on my right on the right side of the camera, right? All right. So right now with this latch. All right, we're at level one. You heard, you heard the clicks? All right, so now we're at level one. This is a little as far back as you're gonna go. Now I'm not leaning back, it's just that top portion here gives me like a little bit of lean back and then it stops, okay? Then it gives me a little bit of lean back. All right, now we're at level, two. all right? So this is level one. Now I wanna keep it, I wanna let you guys know, as I'm leaning back here, I can't move this, this lever here. I can't move it, okay? So you have to lean up and then, and then push it down, okay? So that was level one that we just saw. This is level two. Okay, that's level two, all right. Lean forward, level three, lean back some more. All right, now I'm not gonna lie, level three is like the perfect lean back position for me, okay? Perfect lean back position for me. Now, it's not like the other gaming chairs like the Secret Lab or anything like that where you lean back and you actually can like, hook it and then it stays. It's, it's gonna lean back forward, okay? It's gonna lean back forward, okay? But at the same time, it does, I'm not gonna say it takes effort, but at the same time, like, it's not gonna like shoot up or anything like that. Like it, it glides, okay? So if you guys can see my feet, I'm gonna lift my feet up and watch the force it takes. Okay, so it's not, it, it, does, it doesn't go fast. Like Sonic the Hedgehog. All right, now this is the last level here. And this is all, this is as full back as it goes. You guys can see my feet. Hopefully you guys can see my feet. I'm pretty sure you guys can, uh, how I angled the camera. But my feet are on, on the tiptoes just so I can lean as far back as I can. All right, I have, I have four photos on the screen here so you guys can see exactly um, the difference between each, okay? All right, and then this is literally the farthest back you can go, so one more time. All right, so this is level four. I'm gonna lean up, go back to level three. This is level three, lean back up. Level two, this is level two, lean back up. Level one, and this is where you're gonna go in level one, so you're not really gonna go much of anywhere but level one, okay? so. So yeah, so that's this part right here. And like I said, make sure you lean forward and that's how you can fully manipulate this. And just to reiterate guys, if you lean back on it, you can't lock it into place and that's where you're gonna stay. The chair is gonna automatically go up. So if that's a deal breaker for you, I just wanna let you know that that's a, that's a thing. It's coming from a guy who owns a secret lab chair for a year where that feature was, I'm not gonna lie, it was really nice. Um, but I think I'll be fine. I think I'll be fine uh, without it. Um, I used it on occasion, but not too much. All right, now we're gonna talk about the seat next. All right, so Griff King, hopefully I can get some good angles on here. And if you guys can see on the chair, there's some there's some hair. Guys, I own a Siberian Husky, so hair's floating around here even when I'm not doing anything. But as for the seat, now I'm not gonna lie, when I first sat in it, guys, I'm not gonna lie, I really enjoyed sitting in this chair, or at least sitting on it the first the first that I felt. It felt like a, like a kind of like a soft spring. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you sat in it and you're just there. No, like you sit and it bounces up a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna push this seat, and this is what it looks like. Hopefully the camera can get this. Okay, perfect. All right. Oh, I don't know if this is a good demonstration for you guys here. So I'm giving some CPR, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it, it's, it's, it's so it comes right here and it's not like super, super firm. Okay, now coming from a Secret Labs owner, guys, the seat for the Secret Labs, for my opinion, is firm and comfortable, but when you do sit in it for very, very long periods of time, mind you guys, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a YouTuber that's trying to be up and coming. So when I'm editing my videos, I'm sitting in this chair a lot. And as you guys can see in the, you know, behind me, I work from home. So <laughs> I'm always sitting in that chair, okay? I will say this is not coming from, I'm not, I'm not dissing Secret Labs at all. I sincerely love that chair. If you guys, if this is not in your budget for a chair, guys, I know there's some other chairs as well, but if you guys want that, that Secret Labs chair, I'm telling you right now, it's coming from a guy I do wish, I definitely will say definitely go get it. Especially if you're not working from home, 100%. But the seat, 100% really nice. It feels so soft. It's like, like I said, it's like a spring, guys, but it's like a gentle spring. Like it springs and it just, and it, and it cups the booty so well, no pause either. It comes the booty so well. And as you sit in it, let me see if I can get a shot from underneath the chair. All right, in the intro of this video, I'm pretty sure you guys saw that I try to get under the chair. So you guys can see, this is what it looks like under here. They look like little bit of springs, okay? It looks a little plastic. That's what the material looks like under there. It's a little bit of plastic, but it's stretchable, it's bendy, okay? I'm gonna put my hand through and I'm gonna try to push down. I don't know if you guys can see it. If I had someone else to record for me, I could like show like what it looks like sitting down or anything like that. But it really flows down in like these right here, all these white stuff like that. It opens up basically, okay? It opens up, it's like a spring. And then it just like confirms to the booty. And then as you get up, then it goes to its natural shape. So that's literally what the under the seat looks like. Hope I can get a different angle. Hopefully this, 
Hopefully this works for you guys just a little bit. My apologies guys, I'm doing my best here as much as I can considering that I'm recording this by myself. I'm pretty sure other YouTubers who are very professional can get these shots no problem. But hopefully you guys can appreciate it and I want to at least give you guys a review on this. Alright guys, so that is my review of the Herman Miller and Body Gaming Chair. Now guys, if you guys want to see like a, you know, a three month review on this, see how the chair is holding up, or a year long review to see how the chair is holding up, definitely let me know. This is backed by a 12 year warranty, so I'm banking on this chair to last a good while. The Secret Labs chair lasted a great while and everything, you name it. So, um, I definitely wanted to showcase that to you guys, and also just to show you guys here, now I'm at my desk. This is an uplift standing desk, great desk by the way, I actually made a review on this desk uh, as well uh, a few months back. Now this is the chair where it sits at, the lowest it can go, mind you, I'm five foot seven, keep that in mind, the lowest it can go, and the, and the armrests are all the way up, okay? And now mind you, I know, and the armrest is not fully in like this, I don't see a reason that I will probably be in like this, but you never know, okay? But this, the armrests are all the way out, okay? And this is perfect from where I'm at, okay? Now, because this is the lowest setting, I'm gonna need to move this up a little more considering with the desk. Now this desk is at its lowest setting. It's at the lowest it can go. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this baby up. Okay, so as you guys can see, the armrest is a little bit above the desk. Okay, maybe I can get a little bit forward. And honestly, to be real with you guys, I funk with, funks with this heavy, all right? Because the Secret Labs chair, I had to adjust it a good little bit, which is fine, which is fine. I hate on the Secret Labs, I had to adjust it a little bit and I still made it work. I was like, but it's a little bit up here. So what I'm gonna do here is move this baby just a little bit down a couple notches here, right there. And where I'm at now, I'm in a good position where my arms are straight, but I am gonna lower this just a little bit. There we go. All right. And the arms are actually all the way up. All right. And real talk, this is where we can go. All right, I'm gonna have to move. If you guys wonder what these are, these are Tifa, you know, Final Fantasy VII, you guys are fans of her. But it was a, but yeah, it was a, but this chair is, is, is legit. I really, I really do like it. You're definitely gonna have to adjust it a little bit. Um, now, we'll, I can see, cause like how, how I have this, it doesn't go out far enough for at least my elbows and everything like that. Now I'm maybe five foot seven, but I have long arms. So the, my arms are usually not like flared out, but it's usually like straight like this, but the chair doesn't have that, you know, that's one feature that I wish it did. You know, that Secret Labs does have, you can pull up, push a button, you can move it in and out, in and out. That feature I used a lot, but the turning motion, I didn't use that one a lot, but I did use the one that goes left and right, left and right. Um, so this chair doesn't have that, okay? And um, and this is the far farthest that it, that it can go at, as you guys can see. So I will have to adjust it or get used to it and figure out some way so I can see that, not a deal breaker, but I can see how this will probably be a little bit annoyance to me, but I'll, I will figure something out, of course. But nothing too crazy for me to be like, yep, box is up, return to the chair. <laughs> no. Another thing I wanna talk about is that you actually get something here uh, in the chair. I think you guys can, you saw that when I was looking, when I was, you know, doing like a little pan of the of the chair. Let me open this up. I haven't opened this up yet. Wow, well, I was trying to open it up, but this rubber band is here. Hold on for a second, guys. Okay, so it's like your your pamphlets. Okay, you got the, you know you got that pamphlet. This pamphlet right here. Play advanced and body gaming chair. Okay, okay, okay. What is the first thing it says? Okay, show us some pictures. Okay, and body gaming chair adjustment instructions. Okay, got you, got you. And just like you guys saw in the unboxing, this chair comes fully assembled. So if you guys don't want to spend those. I'm not gonna say long, grueling hours. A lot of chairs just take, you know, a couple minutes. I think the Secret Labs chair, I think, took me like 30, 45 minutes to, to assemble. Um, if you don't have to worry about that, you're gonna worry about that with this chair. A certificate of, authentic of Authenticity, you know what I'm saying? Herman Miller is legit about their peeps, okay? And is this a poster? Okay, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a little poster. Okay, a little, little poster from Embody. Well, Herman Miller, play advanced Embody gaming chair. Okay, that's cool. I don't see myself hanging this up, but it's cool. I respect that, you know, get, like you, you only experience an unboxing one time, guys, okay? So, you know, make it worth your while there. So, Herman Miller, appreciate that, that's what's up. All right, guys, as I promised in the beginning of the video, if you made it to the end here of this boring review, maybe, I don't know, if you guys enjoyed it, please let me know, I appreciate that. But, um, like I said in the beginning of the video, I was gonna leave you guys with a 5% discount extra and the reason why I only found this out is because there's a youtuber put this out here now you don't have to use their affiliate links or anything like that because right now till December 14th as far as I know okay as far as I know Herman Miller has a sale going on right this minute until December 14th of 2022 for this particular chair and other chairs they have lined up for this particular chair it is 25% off however with this code right here not affiliate this is the code okay with this code right here you can get an extra 5% off so in total you can get 30% percent off for this particular chair okay it goes with their, any other chairs that they have on their site or anything like that but for this particular chair the gaming and body not the regular and body the gaming and body can be 30 percent off if you use 
this code okay this code right here okay the reason why i'm giving you guys this is because i found this out literally after i had already ordered this chair so i got 25 percent off instead of the 30 percent off i emailed herman miller and hopefully they'll credit that extra five percent to my car hopefully they you know hook a brother up i heard their customer service is really good so we'll see okay i'm not gonna i'm not gonna you know jump in their email or anything like that i'm waiting for them to respond i was cordial about it so i just want to let you guys know this is the perfect time to get that deal and it's not from now to december 14th last i looked it said december 11th but when i looked again it said december 14th so i just want to let you guys know it could be december 11th or the 14th i don't want to give you wrong info but this is the perfect time now this is the biggest i've ever seen these chairs to get so right now is the time to get them if you can comfortably afford them okay don't get them if it's going to run your pockets loose this chair, chair no chair is worth that okay however the reason why i got this chair is because i work from home now i'm trying to i'm trying to be an up and coming you know content creator so i'm always sitting down and i need something for my back i'm 28 if this isn't this is a legit investment okay i was like to you know better your posture better your back health and everything like that and plus i'm always in the gym i always said it myself growing up that more than likely my back is probably gonna be the first thing to go the older i get and i was in the marine corps my knees and my ankles are okay they're not bad okay but my back is a different story okay so my back is 100 good but I do see this sometimes where like I'm sitting in the secret lab chair or if I'm sitting in any particular chair, my back will kind of be a little bit iffy, okay? No disrespect secret lab, I'm keeping that chair. I don't care. I love that freaking chair, okay? I may want to switch up every now and again. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so very much for watching this video. I'm, I, ho as I hope this video was enjoyable. I hope that you guys learned something in this video. Hopefully this video at least made you more comfortable with your purchase. Guys, I'm going to let you guys know I'm going to leave a link to this particular chair on Herman Miller's website. Not an affiliate link. I'm not making no money off of this video other than Google AdSense okay so no money's making off this video this is literally coming from a real consumer who legit spent over 1400 some odd dollars for this particular chair that is on the sale right now it would have been 1300 and some change if i used that extra five percent but i didn't so yes guys so this is the chair that you want to get if you guys want to invest in it i i'm liking it so far but like i said this review is coming from somebody who literally just sat in it first impressions this is literally my first impressions if you guys want to see a later on view of this chair and everything please please let me know please let me know i'll do my best and let you guys know how it's holding up after three months after uh six months after a year so let me know if you guys want to see that let me know if you guys want to see that by leaving in the comments or by, by thumbing up this video if you made it this far so please let me know about that but uh but yeah guys thank you guys so very much for watching this griffin sign off my to be silent home professionals i love you guys i'll see you guys in the next video take care